I want to thank God for the opportunity that he has given me through session 2019 that I should be able as a director of the Transferential Conference to serve the church in this regard, that I should be able to serve the church in this department called Correctional Services, previously called Prison Ministries Department. But I want to say to you um, that the Lord blessed us. When we started, I was too excited to be invited by the union. By then, it was um, the union uh, uh, secretary called uh, Pastor Kunene and uh, Dr. Spencer, who were the head. They invited me to a meeting that I'll have, and they asked me uh, to host the occasion. So I organized with Golden Harvest Church that I should use their facility to host the big event. What event was this? It was an event called the signing of the MOU. What is the MOU? The MOU is a memorandum of understanding. And what were we signing? We were signing a document between the Seventh-day Adventist Church in South Africa, in our union, and the Correctional Services Department of the government. We had all the directors, the major directors. What was left was the minister responsible in the government, but all the directors, the most senior the, and the deputy directors were also there and some of the secretaries of the government. They attended the occasion in, um, in Golden Harvest and we signed a memorandum of understanding. This to us was quite exciting because this meant that for the first time the Seventh-day Adventist Church has acknowledgement by government and all the obstacles that we previously experienced as the church were removed because now we had an agreement with them on saving our people who are incarcerated. We held a meeting here at the TOC offices and we taught all our correctional services leaders on how to tackle the issue of correctional services and the rules and the regulations that were given in the MOU on the crime that can be committed even by spiritual workers because all those who are serving in churches are called spiritual workers. We taught and we had a successful meeting and we funded it as the conference. We were quite happy with that. I want to cite the fact that I'm so thankful and indebted to Pastor Chris Msimang, who is so vehement in this work, who's passionate. He works by the grace of God in the parole board in South Africa. He's the head, one of the heads of the parole board. And he joined us as one of the most important individuals. He's helping me. He works like a team. We work like a team. We together conducted a proper program that was run as a training program in MLO. What a successful event it was. We also had the Director General of the Department of Correctional Services attending that meeting, giving us the document itself and presenting it to us as the church. And we have all our members trained. We are quite happy with the progress that we managed to make under these difficult circumstances. May the Lord bless the TOC. May the Lord bless also the Correctional Services Department so that it becomes one of the ways of winning souls even among those who are incarcerated. May God bless you all. Amen.